Hello and welcome to Trading the Trend on Wednesday, the 30th of August 2023. Let me go through our latest trades and we were short uh, wheat uh, back at the end of July, I believe. Now, if you look at the daily chart, you can see here that we didn't get stopped out uh, before the uh, price of wheat started to come off. And we hit our downside target now at six dollars and seven cents and we can cash in that uh, profitable trade. But uh, if you want to let it run, you can do that too, uh, either with a stop loss above the resistance line here or above the 21st of August high at $6.44. That's really up to you. Um, another trade we had on, thanks to uh, Jeremy Naylor, my colleague, he went long the US dollar versus the uh, Chinese one. Uh, at around uh, 720 and that trade is still um, quite positive here trading around seven dollars and thirty um, and basically uh, sorry it's uh, seven uh, one and thirty uh, and uh, basically you can either cash in your profits here or uh, put your take profit level just below the last reaction low here around um, 726 or so uh, with regards to that trade uh, Last week, I went short soybeans and did so with the idea that this corrective move here was just a correction in another wider correction to the downside, but I got that one completely wrong. Uh, soybean prices continue to go up, but we had a tight stop loss here in place at $1,385 and got stopped out there straight away. So that trade had a small loss. And uh, now this week, what I would like to do is to go long the NASDAQ, because as you can see here, we've been in a long term uptrend in the NASDAQ. And um, now that we've risen above the last reaction high, that's to say last week's high, I expect the corrective move we saw in August to have ended at the low seen back in mid-August at around 14,554 and uh, for us to basically head up towards the 16,000 area or even higher than that on the Nasdaq 100. So this week's uh, trading the trend is to go long the Nasdaq 100 uh, on a minor retracement perhaps uh, towards 15,220 and uh, with an upside target of 16,000 and a stop loss at 14,550.